today is an exciting one because we are doing something that we've never done before. Uh, we are planting organic peas. Now this is the first time ever and we're not planting them ourselves. We did hire someone else to do it that's had a lot of experience doing it. Uh, here he is. He's got a case quad track and it looks like a Great Plains drill. So pretty cool setup and I'm going to make sure I get some drone footage of this right now because this is pretty sweet. On Mulholland Drive I take the wheel and you close your eyes You know I love the chase and we don't hesitate A little danger makes you feel right And I, I Everybody wants you but they can't do what I do yeah. I feel like there's nothing left to lose don't got you Welcome to the wild It's every man for himself Welcome to the wild I'm crazy No one chill No one else And I won't waste another hour Baby, you don't know your power I'll take you to the So it's actually the next day from the drone footage you guys just saw of the peas being planted. And last night, my dad and I did the end rows of the organic soybeans. So this field is split in half, half organic peas and half organic soybeans. These pink flags right here are the line. Sadly, you guys missed the organic corn planting because I missed it. I was gone for the weekend and my dad and my brother uh, planted all the organic corn. But I've never seen a pea seed. I'm guessing it just looks like a pea, but just kind of want to dig one up here. I'm guessing that's it. Found it in there. Kind of a weird looking, not exactly looking like a pea, but I don't know. You did get it down to moisture though. That's why we hired someone else to do it, because we just didn't know what to do about planting peas. We don't own a drill. We probably could have got one, but, you know, just this guy, he plants a lot of peas for the cannery that we are doing the peas for. And he just knows what he's doing. He came here, he did it. He was done in like three or four hours. It was very nice. But with the soybeans and, well, the peas for that matter, uh, we did have a bunch of rain here about a week and a half ago so there's still moisture underneath the ground but it's like two inches deep so we're having to plant our soybeans fairly deep to hit that moisture because it the forecast looks very very dry for about the next month and you need that moisture to get that soybean started so yeah so there's there's a soybean right there it is in moisture and yeah it's about two inches deep so the one thing is that in some spots it looks like the the row or the trench is closing before the closing wheels hit it. So I might have to increase the down pressure. I have it at 170 at the moment. I might increase it to 180, 185 and see what happens. Try and keep that that dry dirt from falling on top of the seed. So the reason that we planted these end rows a day earlier and not on video was simply because planting organic stuff is kind of a different process than planting regular stuff just the fact that like doing headlands and end rows and stuff on a conventional field why are all these motors in recovery mode I'm not even planting anyways in a normal field 
you know, if you have some rows that kind of like do some weird stuff or whatever, it doesn't really matter because the spare boom is just going to hang over it and spray it anyways and the combine just going to go right through it. Organic, you can't have any rows crisscrossing or coming close together or wide apart or different angles because you have a 60 foot cultivator behind you and if it's not perfect, you are taking out crops. So my dad was just helping me kind of, you know, learn how to plant organic endros so that everything is square and makes sense. So that was, that's the reason why I didn't film it, because I was just trying to pay attention and do the best that I could. Failed brush motor alignment. It was working fine yesterday. What in the heck's going on? Failed brush motor alignment. I don't know, it looks fine to me. Seeds are coming out. I think I'm just gonna try and plant. See what happens. Sometimes when you first start it up and you start running these tests, everything freaks out and you start planting and it's fine. So, I don't know. Well, I'd say by the look of that, that row four is not planting. Hey, well, I'll loosen this bowl one notch. I don't know. Everything seems to be spinning fine to me. I don't know why it's saying that the motor's not turning it. It was working fine yesterday when I parked it. Nothing's changed. Well, at least this is happening in the last field of the year, not the first. Well, it was still giving me fit, so I turned the tractor off, turned it back on, and now it's happy as can be. First time that's happened. Okay, I'm just gonna dig a couple rows quick, see how it's doing. Usually I do the left side of the planter. Let's go to the right. So I up that down pressure up, but change nothing else. I mean, that's in wet dirt. There was just one right here somewhere. That's in wet dirt. That's in wet dirt. I think we're okay. Plant a little bit further and maybe call the agronomist out just to have him double check my my job here okay that was the end of the first fill up actually there's a little bit more left in there i don't know if i could have made it another round or not but uh, i got some mice i'm about to go by i gotta wait for them these are massive soybeans really heavy and the, and we can't use any like talc or anything because it's not organic certified so just straight giant soybeans, no lubricant. The exact immersed planter doesn't really like it, but I'm getting about 98.5 to 99% singulation. So better than any other John Deere planter we've ever had in soybeans. Typical organic seed. Row 13, not working whatsoever. Couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. Took the seed tube off the hopper. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Probably not. Raccoon feces, I think. Some sort of feces. I don't know how to get it out and the box is full because it just filled. I don't know if you've ever fished raccoon poop out of your planter before. Oh, 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 I almost had it. Come on. I'm so close. I'm like, I'm probably never gonna need this. And I did it, until now. Well, I am just on a rock marking festival. One, two, three, all within one round. Good thing we actually got the skid steer on this field. So after I finish this, I'll have to buzz out there and skid steer and grab those quick. Don't like to go across the field with skid steer, but I'd rather compact a little bit of ground than hit those three rocks with the row crop cultivator because something will break. Play the game of will it hit my pickup? Put a lot of trust in this thing. Oh yeah, right between the passes, we're good. Hey, 
it's really, really important to get these rows perfectly straight in the organics that we can come in straight with the row cup cultivator. So right here, the planter is zero inches off. Start planting. So, that's, so normally there's, there's like a little light bar on these steering systems. Um, but because we have a GPS receiver on the planter, there's actually two. So the top one is where the tractor is and the bottom one is where the planter is. So like right now the planter is one inch off, which is pretty dang good. Um, it's really cool to see like you get going on a side hill, the tractor will be like six to eight inches off, but the planter will be zero inches off. So it's that tractor compensating for that, that planter drifting a little bit. And there we go. That was the last planting for 2023. We are done done. And I hope we don't have any weather come up because we're unhooking this thing like today because I need this monitor for the organic cultivator and organic drag. Go in here and purge the units so that way there's no seed in them. There we go. It just purges the belts. There's still, there's still seed in the units, but at least the belts are clear. That's the important part. Inflate the tires one last time. PTG CTIS system has been very, very good this year. The only struggle it gave us in the entire year was just a couple days ago, I updated this monitor and the first time I restarted it, it didn't know what was going on and I did a restart and it worked fine ever since. But like the air system, the tire deflation system, never once other than that one time um, caused any issues whatsoever. And as I was finishing up my last pass, my dad called me and said, hey, I need you to get me some fuel to the 8410T, which is currently dragging. So luckily the fuel trailer is at our neighbor's house right there. So park the tractor for now, I'll come back and get that later. We'll get it cleaned out, blown off, washed off. But before we do that, we gotta get some of this organic weed control moving. Otherwise our corn is coming up great. Look at how good the spacing is on this Xactimerx planter. And this is in the Endros. Like this thing's spacing is incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's like a picket row fence down there. Can I snake past there? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good. Oh, nice. Dead. You're about done. You just got a little bit in that end yet. Yeah, I don't know. I hope it'll get any wind. It's gonna blow. That's one thing we struggle with is with organic. You know, around here it does not work to do no-till conventional, let alone organic. So we have to do tillage and that's our only source of weed control. So it's a balance of keeping the weeds down and doing too much tillage. Although this little drag does a beautiful job.